Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat channel. The Miami Heat are playing the Milwaukee Bucks tonight in Game 4 of the NBA Eastern Conference First Round Series. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks star Giannis Antetokounmpo is returning to action for Game 4 um, of the team's first round playoff series against the Heat. So Giannis has missed uh, Games 2 and 3 because of a lower back uh, contusion. Um, and the two-time MVP uh, suffered that injury in Game 1 um, against the Miami Heat back on April 16th after he landed on his back falling to the court after a collision with uh, the Miami Heat's power forward Kevin Love in the first quarter of Game 1. So Giannis played 11 minutes in Game 1 and the Heat were able to win that game on the road, which was a huge win for Miami. Um, game 2, Giannis was out for that entire game. And the Bucks crushed the Heat with um, spectacular three-point shooting, broke the NBA record or tied an NBA record for most threes by a team in a single playoff game. Um, and then Game Three, Giannis missed as well, uh, which was in Miami on Saturday, and the Heat were able to win that game. So the Heat are up two to one. Uh, Giannis is the Bucks' best player, obviously, um, and he put together his best statistical season of his career this year, averaging 31 points, 12 rebounds. 5.7 assists while shooting 55% from the floor and 27.5% from the deep, which is not great, but okay for Giannis, I guess. Since um, his injury, Chris Middleton and uh, Drew Holiday and Grayson Allen have picked up on the scoring load. Um, now that he's back in the lineup tonight, the Bucks should be favored to win home court advantage back. Um, and should be favorites um, to win to win this series as long as they can win tonight. Because um, if the Heat do win tonight and go up 3-1, then teams usually 70% or more win when they're up 3-1. to one. So it's really hard to come back from a 3-1 deficit. So big news for the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, you know, as a Heat fan, this does suck <laughs> having them back. But also, you want to be the team at their best, right? I don't want Jimmy Butler to be missing or bam at a bio so i understand and have empathy for how the bucks fans you know feel it really sucks when your top player is out but then it's also like great if you're a shitty team like the heat and the mvp or former mvp top three mvp candidate this year um, is out it gives you a real chance to win but we don't want to win that way so i still think the heat can win it just depends on um their defense and if they can continue to shoot the way they've been shooting from deep as a team so we'll see but good news for the bucks thanks again for watching take care have a